What up guys, I'm Thales and we're back with another how to slice. So let's go to the video. So this is the tired turtle. As you can see, this is a really nice model to print. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the best print settings. So first off, let's analyze. We got over here a turtle. So this is a really nice mechanism. So it's kind of articulated and we got a kind of button right here. So this is a really nice model. Let's go to the print settings. So over here in layer height, we're gonna be printing this model as 0.18 millimeters. This way we're gonna be reducing a little bit of the each layer. So each layer is gonna be um, smaller, so it's gonna have more layers, so it's gonna take more time to print, but this will make sure we get a better quality print. As for vertical shells, we're gonna be leaving at three. Three is a really nice value. For infill, we're gonna be increasing to 12%, just so we can get a really rigid model, as this is going to be for decoration or um, to play with, it needs to be really resistant. So this is quite nice. As for skirt and brim, this model, so it doesn't have the best bed adhesion. As you can see, we got some surface right here that it's going to be um, placed on the build plate. So all of these regions right here. But if we add brim to increase these areas, sometimes it's quite hard to remove. And um, sometimes it can ruin the articulated effect. So we're not gonna be adding brim, but make sure you use, if you have some bad um, adhesion issues, always make sure to clean your bill plate um, with some dish soap or isopropylic alcohol and always uh, make sure you do not touch the bill plate with your with your fingers because you got oil in them and it's gonna reduce the reduce the bad adhesion so i always make sure you clean your bill plate and make sure it doesn't have any dust or anything like that so let's go back so we're not going to be adding brim but make sure you got a good bad adhesion as for support material this model does not need any support material it will have some bridges inside of the articulated model but this model does not need any support at all as for speed make sure your first layer speed is at a low value this will make sure that um, you get a good first layer so the other layers are gonna um, because the first layer is the most important layer because all of the other layers are gonna go on top of the first one so always make sure you got a good first layer so bring um, this value down for bamboo lab printers around 60 millimeters a second if you want reduced to around 40 this will make sure you got a good first layer and for the other values you can leave at the standard print speed just make sure on bridges sometimes if you have um, newer printer that are really fast always make sure you reduce it quite a bit it's better to print one time slowly than have to print three times with some failed results so uh, over here in bridges uh, you can be reducing to around 55 millimeters and for small perimeters you can be reducing to 50 just to make sure we got a good quality print on all of these models so this looks quite nice so let's just slice to take a look so as you can see we have slice and it's gonna take six hours and 42 minutes to print so this model looks quite nice we're gonna have some bridges right there but um we cannot add any support because it's it will be hard to remove and this model can be printed without any support so this looks quite nice if you go over here to speed you'll see that it reduces the speed while printing some small perimeters and while doing the bridges so this looks quite nice so as for the multicolored version as you can see this looks quite nice you can be using all the other configurations that i show you for this multicolored version and i always recommend while printing multicolored version to print more than one model in a build plate because if you print just one model it's gonna waste with the prime tower and flushed filament and if you print two models it's gonna waste the same amount of filament but now we're gonna have two models so this is a really nice tip 
to save your precious filament. So the motto is ready to print. Make sure to check out stlflakes.com for more models like this one and I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflex. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing. Thank you.